Excuse me, excuse me, guys. Thank you. And drop the charge of thinking like you. In the interest of justice, what happened here? Why are they not? You know, why does he look at the video and then do the same? They still have an eye. That's why we're here. They are here, but they cannot speak because it's an ongoing case. Right? But if you ask any questions, I'll do my best. Okay. We are speaking, all of us are speaking for the It's a all say, it's a complete case of injustice. Right? Hey, all right. We got two more minutes and then we'll start. Two more minutes and then we'll start. We'll be quick. I'll make a statement and I'll be Hey, what's that? Everyone, everyone's gonna have to leave. Officer, we'll be real quick. We'll be real quick, no, that's enough. You guys are one guy just sit on the Get back here. Test, then I'm gonna take on the street like the other protesters, right? I'm giving you a fair path. Yeah, yeah. Right? I got seniors to come out here, right? I'm giving you a seat to come out here. You understand? I'm gonna take the street. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We'll make sure. So far, we have not blocked any traffic, right? I got it. I got it. We're gonna we're gonna do a, we're gonna give a formal statement and then we'll go through individual interviews, okay? Okay, thanks. I should not Wow, that? Okay. 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 不給我們用麥的,我們大聲的說,首先,好多謝你的抽時間出來,支持。支持我們玩社區,將將將將你,新將將你,新將將你,新將將你,新將將你,新將將你,新將將你,新將將你,新將將你,新將將你,新將將你
嘅檢控。咁啊，多謝你哋參與參加，伸出正義。打人冇罪。打人嗰就打人嗰就冇罪，智慧嘅就有罪，呢啲咪正义啊 ？OK， 解释下，前面又你记得佢哋最初嚟到打依打我哋唐人街两个人，佢哋佢就小便，佢哋好开，见佢哋讲唔该你哋离开，打佢一电话嚟，警察冇嚟，警察冇嚟之后，跟住佢就同佢讲唔该你哋离开，佢哋唔正止唔离开，仲更加好公开咁样。随街小便，跟住歧视小华，歧视华人，跟住打低佢哋，打得佢哋好严重。咁到警察嚟到嗰阵时，跟住用咗啲言语闹你啲中国人。跟住警察嚟到，佢自卫，佢哋再翻兜翻转嚟，再打佢个细佬。佢个哥出嚟，攞把刀出嚟，自卫，伤咗呢个人。警察嚟到，有冇罪？智慧系咪罪？智慧系咪罪？智慧冇罪。智慧冇罪。智慧冇罪。智慧冇罪。跟住警察嚟到，捉咗佢两兄弟，举报佢。但系检控官话：我唔睇唔见录影带，佢哋有，但系佢话佢唔见到有咩人犯，除咗嗰两个四，佢两个中国人犯罪。佢冇見到其他人犯罪，呢啲係咪盲啊？盲啊！盲啊！盲啊！反對種族歧視。When I was young as a kid, we hear about cases in the country where Chinese workers were lynched. When they do their job, we have cases when Chinatown were burned down. We know cases where people were beaten up, but nothing ever happened to them. I cannot believe in the year 2024 when five people came up to Chinatown at a COVID party at the height of COVID, decided to come down, urinate on the street in public, when the building owner. Responsible for cleaning the street came down and asked them to leave. Instead of leaving, they continue to urinate, harass them, call them racial slurs, and decide to beat them up. With all that, with all that, when his brother was standing by himself, he went inside, grabbed a blade, in protection. These guys, after they beat him up, said it's still not done. They decide to turn around and say. As one of them sitting by himself, these individuals turn around, and even with the sword, they continue to take on the stand. They wanted to fight. They wanted to hurt these brothers. These brothers, in the fear of their life, take out a blade. Right? They hurt them with the arm. When the police came to arrest them, they only arrested these two brothers. The five perpetrator who decided they can come into Chinatown. In 2020, at the height of COVID, that they can piss on you, piss on the street, call you racial slurs, call you anti-gay slurs, and beat them up, and they, the DA said, and this is Sai Vance, his people said they saw no evidence of any crime other than the two brothers who were defending themselves. Is this justice? No. 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 Fair justice for the brothers. This is an outrage that I cannot believe in 2020 and 2024 that the shit that happens to Chinese Americans is still happening right here, right now, three blocks away from here. Unbelievable that even now, with the video handed over to the DA office, they said they saw no, other than the two Chinese defendants, victims who were protecting themselves. For further harm and getting beaten up, those are only two that they saw a crime was committed. Somehow, defending yourself is a crime. DA Bragg has shown that he can make sure they are justice. Right? The Bodega case, that worker, the murder charge was dropped. The case with the fishmonger, the murder case was dropped. The case of the DV victim, where she killed her. Ex-husband, that case was dropped. Why is it 
that when the victims are Chinese, that somehow they can, they only see them committing crimes, and they're the only people that they decide they can prosecute. Is that fair? No! no. Whatever just... happened to one standard of justice for all? That is not justice. We're asking DA Brack to do the right thing. Un, un, the injustice that happened, right the unjust by side bands. You don't need to be a racist like he was. We did not elect you to be a racist. Do the right thing. Chinese people have been working hard and we deserve equal treatment. We don't want more, but fair and equal treatment. How is it that we are only criminals on a video when they were beaten up for more than five minutes? For five minutes, these guys were beaten up. They called the police. They called the NYPD with a 911 recording. And they have the audacity that the DA said there were no reported incident of racial slur being said. On the video, you will hear these five in this video said, I'm going to kill you. And that was to beat them up. But yet, law enforcement in New York City said they hear nothing. This sounds like the crazy shit that happened generations ago. This is not the New York that we live in. We deserve better than this. Elvin Bragg, do the right thing. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. Drop the charges against John R. Drop the charges Drop against the charges. John R. No jail time for victims of hate crimes. No jail time for victims of hate crimes. No jail time for victims of hate crimes. And as a family... Find the truth of this is! Sun Chung Ching Yi! Sun Chung Ching Yi! Sun Chung Ching Yi! Sun Chung Ching Yi! We will not go away until there's true justice in this city. Not go away. We will not go away. Alright, and the family, grandpa from the. Howard, you want to say a few words about representative families? Can you come to the mic, please? Many of you are here because you heard the news. A fight in Chinatown, weapons drawn, there was a large sword, blood was spilled, and someone, because someone urinated on the street. Not said was a verbal assault. Words of hate, hate toward Max, hate of race, hate, hate of color, hate of sexual orientation, hate of sexuality, hatred toward this community, and hatred toward the people of this community. One person was recording the assault. This led into the physical assault that you see in the video. Not shown was that the, after the sword was swung, these five guys did not stop. They regrouped, organized, and coordinated multiple follow attacks until the police arrived. This lasted for more than 10 minutes. This was not fight with weapons because someone here there on the streets. Instead, more accurately, this was hate crime, gang assault, self-defense. The version you heard left out two things not tolerated by people of New York City. I came here planning to talk about this community and how it has been marginalized and tenants like John and Max needs to feel safe. But that changed after I saw the interview by reporter Stefan Kim. Let me quote what the DA said. Our continued investigation, which included review of all available video surveillance and interviews with eyewitnesses determined there was no evidence to charge any other individual at the scene with criminal conduct. I was very disappointed and upset. I felt the urge to ask for the people of New York City, District Attorney Alvin Bragg, are you saying cri uh, hate crime and gang assault are not criminal conduct? This is not the New York City that I know. The New York City that I know is filled with love. Love for whites, blacks, Asians, Latinos, different cultures, different religions, and different sexual orientations. By allowing these five guys to walk free, that's an insult to all New Yorkers. There is no room for hate crimes. By accepting John and Max's plea, you make New Yorkers defenseless and allow people to attack our community. New York can do better than that. Mr. Bragg, you can do better than that. I ask that you reevaluate this case with evidence of hate crime and gang assault. John and Max and all New Yorkers deserve the right of fundamental justice. Do right to their family and restore confidence to the people of New York City. Thank you.
Just also want to say the family will not be speaking because as you know, there are still ongoing charges and there's still ongoing legal cases. But what I, but all of you would know this, the fact that the five perpetrators have still not been charged at all. And the statement from the DA's office, even as yesterday, they saw no criminal act. That, and the fact that they did not arrest this individual the, and in fact, turn them into victims. This is not the justice system that we that New York City should have. And it's because of that, the family has to force, force to consider serious implications. If you stack against you, think about that. If someone comes to your house, pee on you, call you racial slur, beat you up, and then the perp and then the perpetrator now becomes the victim, and you become arrested, what faith do you have in getting true justice in this system? And because of that, they have they're considering accepting one accepted a plea deal. Because the parents are not getting much any younger. This kind of is they are victimized multiple times. First, by these five individuals. Second, by the arrest that didn't happen. Third, by the criminal justice system that uses weight to bully them into accepting plea deals. I've seen this too many times. A block away from here, behind this building, a couple of years ago, there was an Asian man walking by. Someone took a sword, a kitchen knife, stabbed his back. The DA took less than 24 hours and declared that wasn't a hate crime. Remember that? Yes, sir. A grandma who was set on fire by two young kids in Bensonhurst when the kids, when the grandkid and the daughter went to the precinct and said, my grandma set on fire, here's her shirt. They tell them to go home and call 911. Is that how we should be protected? So law enforcement can make quick decisions when it's someone else attacking the nation. But when we defend ourselves, not only are you not protected, you are charged for attempted murder. That is wrong. That is just wrong. That's an outrage. I am so proud of all the seniors and everyone who are here to stand up and to let them know we will not stand for this shit anymore. Right? Enough is enough. So, DA Bragg, do the right thing. Please do the right thing. Fair justice. Right? Fair justice. Fair justice. Justice for the armed family. Justice for Chinatown. Justice for the armed family. Justice for Chinatown. So our message to all the elected officials, those who can come, come out and protest on all the causes, what about this cause? Where are you? Why are you so invisible? Stand up. You are our voice. So I ask everyone here, people have to what can they do? Call your elected officials. Tell them to represent you. Dude, when they said they would be your voice, be your voice. Tell them that injustice happened in your community and we're not going to take it anymore. Right? So, send them to me. Send them to me. T.Y. Mojoy. T.Y. Mojoy. T.Y. Mojoy. T.Y. Mojoy. All right, thank you. The family, the family is physically, physically even in, 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 is in pain. The two brothers have been harmed, seriously harmed, to the point that they have difficulty just going to work. And the, they're not here today because there's a legal case that's ongoing. So right? yeah, I want to. And yeah. let me answer the let me ask the question. Clearly, the mental stress to know that your people that attack you who beat you up are now the victims charging you with a crime. That is what they've been living with. It's been a living hell for the family. It's a living hell for all of us in Chinatown. Yeah, so uh, Susan, um, I want to know, like, why is Bragg not doing what Cy, Cy Vance is doing? You know, can you answer that? What's the question again? Like, why is uh, Bragg is, like, not dropping, like, not doing what he's doing? That's what we need to ask the a -Vans. What we're asking him to do is to say, he did it. He showed that he can stand up to make sure justice. He makes sure that the bodega workers charge it with drop. He makes sure the fish markers were the charge with drop. He makes sure that the DA, that the DA victim, in fact, was already in court. He asked the, uh, the board to charge to be dropped. I still understand. We're asking for the same 
equal standard and treatment under the law. So you think it's really political? If it looks like a duck, walks like a duck, it's a duck. Yes, I am proud to have stand and supported. I was one of the early supporters of Elvin Brad because I've witnessed too many injustices in this system. I've been here and some of the reporters would know how frequently I'm here to defend all kind of people, including Chinese Americans who were unjust. I, it was my hope that DA Bragg will truly change and reform the criminal justice system. I am proud to be one of the people because I stand for reforming the criminal justice system. What I can, and that's why I'm here today, to make sure that he keep up to his promise. And I was proud, I stand with him when he decided that the victims, the bodega workers should not be charged. I stand with them when the fishmongers murder charges should not be charged. I stand with them when he said the thief was What about us? Why are they being charged for murder when it was an injury? The other case is someone died and he dropped the charges. Why is it there? Do the right thing, Brad. Do the right thing. Any other questions? Thank you very much. Oh, yeah.